Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. I have a trombone in my shop and the slide section wasn't stuck to the bell section and they tried to get it apart and when they did that it broke the receiver off of the, the slide section and it is stuck in the bell section. And I'm going to have to get this unstuck and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you do is take off the screw part of the slide lock and get that out of the way. Then you can see that there are some plier marks and screwdriver marks on this and that's from where the customer tried to get it off. But these usually do not come off that way. There's a tool that they make to get these apart and I'll show you the tool. Here's the tool and the way it works is you slide some of these between the part that's broken and the receiver and these are different thicknesses. This one is straight and this one is tapered. Some of these have a little larger gap in between the two and the larger ones are for bass trombones and the smaller ones are for the small bore trombones. You put whatever ones you need to in between the gap so that they fit in there snugly. I'm taking the two for the small bore trombone. This is the one that is not tapered and I put that in there and then the one that is tapered I slide that in there. But that's not going to work because there's not enough gap. So I take out the other another tapered one and put that there and I'm going to use two of the tapered ones. So you slide them on there and you just push with your fingers and get it finger tight and then I'm going to put them on a block and tap it with a mallet and that did the trick. Sometimes these do not come out as easily as it did for me so if it does not come out with simple tapping you can use the bench vise, uh, just put it in the bench vise and close it on it, but be careful not to squeeze it too far. Once you've gone to the end of the tool, then you don't want to keep going, so you stop right there. And that usually works, and you can take the parts off, and then this part should come out. Now all I need to do is solder this part to the trombone, but that's for another video. And also, if you do solder that, remember to put this on before you put it together, or else you'll be taking it apart and doing it again. This tool can be purchased from Freeze Tools. Here's a Freeze catalog that shows the trombone slide remover collars. And look in the description below for the link to Freeze Tools where you can buy these tools. Also, if the trombone slide section is not broken off, you can still do the same repair. Just be careful not to damage the slide because it is kind of large and can get in the way. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.